All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, we have a topic about the Muslim saying, show us where in the early churches the Christian fathers or the father of the churches, they say, or they teach the Trinity. You know, the Muslims, they remind me of a foolish man. He was singing a song in English, but he did not know that the, sing, the song was making fun of his prophet. So he was jumping in the street in the Middle East, singing the song after 9-11 made by somebody about Muhammad being a child molester. And Abdul, he don't speak English. He liked the tone. He memorized the words and he was singing it. And then he ended in a very bad place. This is how the Muslims are. They sing a song, somebody sing it for them before, but nobody even want to go and check himself what they are talking about. The Muslim, they say to us, as an example, where Jesus says, I am God, worship me, and etc. And, and we can show them tons of verses, but it doesn't, doesn't make any difference for them because at the end of the day, they are not even listening and they are not asking question to prove the answer for them. They are asking the question just to ask, just to question, and just to make you, uh, let us say, uh, think that you have a wrong belief, but th they are not really looking for the truth. The same question they asked me yesterday is the same question will ask me tomorrow, the same question they will ask me next year, the same question they will. It doesn't matter how much, how many times you repeat the answer, they still do the same because the purpose is how to deceive the Christians. Muslims already, they are not listening and they don't want to listen. So the purpose of the questions is not really. Uh, to learn the truth about what we believe it's just to deceive some Christians maybe we can make them suspect about their faith so you will see the Muslim saying is Jesus is equal to God as an example I saw a guy his name Adnan Rashid he was asking a person in, in, a, uh, in the speaker corner uh, a speech uh, is Jesus equal to God well this is the stupidity which it repeated itself always do you think the Christians after 2,000 years of Christ they did not ask themselves this question and they did not have an answer for it and you Abdul who follow a man who do not know what is the Trinity is about where he claimed that the Trinity is Mary and Jesus and Allah is the one who will teach us about the Trinity and who is equal to God who's not go and teach your prophet first what is the Trinity and ask him how stupid are you to say that the Trinity is Mary and Jesus and Allah when nobody believe in Allah anyway and nobody believe that Mary is God anyway and this is all nothing but a fabrication and if you want to say to me that Muhammad was speaking about a special sect prove it to me the Quran speak about the Nasara call them Nasara all the Christians for him are Nasara when Muhammad he say in the Quran that the Jews worship a, a, a person his name is Uzair and then a guy like Muhammad hijab he says for 4,000 years 4,000 years not a single Jew or rabbi 4,000 years believe in the Trinity then we go to the Quran and we find your God saying that the Jews they worship a person his name is Uzair and even they worship their rabbis go and educate yourself be before you open your mouth because you became like a frog you don't talk you make noise if we go and read in the Bible we can show them endless reference of the Trinity and when they say to us can you show me uh, where Jesus I am equal to God okay let us see if we can show you or not as an example if you read the whole here this is the whole thing from the beginning to the end you can read the whole chapter you will see Jesus is speaking about himself that he is equal to the father equal in what way Jesus as the man he is not equal for the man is not equal to God so God God the father God the son when Jesus speak about himself, he speak, I and my father are one. Who dare to say such a statement? I and the father are one. 
So when you say to me, where you get this is that Jesus is equal, how we can be equal, how we cannot be equal if we are one. So when the Messiah, he says, my father is greater than me, he's speaking about himself because God is coming to you as a humble man. For God is not a man. God became a man, not man became a God. So it doesn't matter how many times you explain to them, still they will, they, will, they will play the same game. I give you eternal life. Who is the one is talking? And I, I give into you, to them, eternal life. And they shall never perish. Who is the one is talking? God. Who is that God talking? That is the Messiah. My, my, sheep, my sheep hear my voice and I know them. Who is he to know his what what who is this person who knows everybody in the world and everybody in the world know his voice and they follow me you see we are following Jesus we are not following you see you Muslim you say you follow Allah you worship Allah but Muhammad is just a prophet here Jesus says you follow me I give you eternal life I give you eternity And then he explained to them that the man you see in front of you, maybe because people will be wondering, he's just a man. But the Muslim, they forgot that the man we are talking about, he can resurrect people from death. He can heal people from any kind of disease. He can control the nature and even the Quran confirm, according to Muhammad, that Jesus is a creator. And this is in total agreement with the Bible where it says everything created by him and for him. The Jews, they wanted to stone Jesus for what? Because he makes himself equal to God. He makes himself God. You commit blasphemy against God. Who are you? What are you talking about? So is the Jews, they understand, you know, the Jews who they are very well versed in the Torah. Are they getting Jesus wrong? That he did not mean to be God? That is the foolishness of the Muslims. If we ask the Muslims why Jesus even was a crucified, is that because he's a prophet? Or because he said he is God? Now, you will see someone like, uh, what's his name? Hijab. Those kids, by the way, none of them is speaking of himself. They are copy-paste of, 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 of the dad. Show me where in the early churches where in the early churches anyone speak of the Trinity? We have thousands in the early churches speaking of Trinity. You know what thousands? You can just go and search in the internet right now. You do not need to be a scholar or a genius or somebody. You will find hundreds of quotations of the early church fathers speaking of the Trinity. It doesn't matter if it's a Protestant church, it's an Orthodox church, it's a Catholic church, it doesn't matter. And the liar, they keep saying to me, show me one. Show me one of the early church, read with me. Look at this. I will spend the day just showing you quotations of the early father churches. So the donkeys, when they challenge us to show them one quotation of the early father churches, did they themselves, did the search in the internet would take them two seconds? Those who do this claim, they are certified donkeys. And they earn their certificate from the school of DDAT. Copy-paste nation. The same when they pray to Allah. Nobody even knows what he's praying. They are praying in Arabic, but nobody speaks Arabic. What does this word mean? I, I do not know. I know how to recite it. Why you are saying to us, show us, when all over we have tons of reference. And not to mention, not to forget to mention, that when they say the early ch church fathers, isn't it the, the four Bibles written by the early church fathers? Not only those scholars we are talking about, or those uh, 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 great men of Christ, who they are the early fathers of the church, which goes even to the time of the apostle 
not long after you can go and see all the churches protestant orthodox catholic you will see how the reference is built up like a high mountain should i read all of those but i have my way to get islam busted as you know if we ask the muslims how you do abolition you will see that everything in this cult is based on number three and I challenge the Muslim to show, to, show, to, to, to show me why your abolition is not accepted unless you do things three times. What is the logic of a three times? They have no answer. Every step in their cult prayer is based on the Trinity. Was Muhammad trying to copy somebody? Is Muhammad a fake prophet who keeps saying things have nothing to do with him? Why you need it three times? You have to do wash your mouth three times. You have to splash your nose three times. You have to wash the whole face three times. You have to clean your wrist three times and your elbow three times. You have, you have, you have three times, three times, three times, three times. Even your foolish Muhammad, when he enter a place, he say "Assalamu alaikum" three times, which is very silly and very stupid. Have you ever heard of somebody saying "Hello" three times? Unless he have a mental issue. Imagine I enter a place and then I shake hands of people three times. And then I say to them, Assalamu alaikum. They say, Wa alaikum assalam. Then I say, Assalamu alaikum. Then we say, Wa alaikum assalam. Then I say, Assalamu alaikum. Are you stuck with the CD or something? Then if we go in the Quran, you will see the Quran confirming something very important about Jesus. In chapter 36, verse number 14, it's speaking about the three messengers sent. Three messengers are sent. Who are they, those messengers? Those are the messengers of Jesus the Christ. Question Muslims, why they are three? Why those messengers, who they are the messengers of Christ, they are three messengers? Any Muslim can answer us. Why they are not four? Why they are not five? Why they are not twelve? What happened to the twelve? He sent two messengers and we string them with the third. Who are they? Those are three. And the, 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 the Abdul, they say to you, Who is John? Like this kid, Hijab, he said, John, Who is John? We don't know who's John. Your donkey, who is Paul? Who is Luke? Who is Peter? Certified donkeys, it is written in your book, who is John? He is the messenger of the Messiah. And Paul, he is the messenger of the Messiah. And as you see, those are people who sent to the city of Antioch. This is in the book of Ibn Kathir, not the book of Ibn Tarthir. copy paste nation they keep insulting paul but it is written in their book that paul is the great messenger of god who sent by the messiah and a question here i have for you abdul how paul and how john and how peter they are sent by the messiah as messengers messengers of god if the if the messiah is just a messenger himself how a messenger can make you a messenger how a prophet can make you a prophet. How a prophet can make you do miracles. Those people, they are going and teaching in the name of the Messiah. How they can do the miracles, which is mentioned in that chapter. We came to you with the clear proofs, clear signs. Clear signs? Where they got the clear signs from? 
they were the messengers of the Messiah do you see it if you go here just for actually let me see all right you are no you are only human being like us like ourselves the people they say to the messenger of the messiah and is that the people of Antioch did believe in the messenger that sent by the Messiah to them? Antioch was the first city to believe in the Messiah. Did you see believe in the Messiah? Why people need to believe in the Messiah? People need to believe in God. Who is the Messiah if he is just a prophet? People they should not believe in a prophet. People should believe in God. The belief should be focused in God, not in a prophet. But as you see, they believe in the Messiah. And, and the Messiah is sending messengers. Can Muhammad send messengers who, who do miracles? And as you see here, the messenger were sent to them. They are three messengers. I'm trying to show you where it says the name of Paul and the name, etc. I cannot see it. I hope the Muslim did not delete that part because they do. I mean, they are Muslims. You know, nothing new. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> Hold on, let us see. Let us see if they are fabricating and taking off the story. From its location and they take the names off too all right here we go read with me read with me this is this is I I give you Muslims a free certified certification of being donkeys when you question the honor of Paul and when you insult Paul or when you insult John and when you insult Peter and you say who are they Read with me. Narrated Abu Ibn Juraj, he said, narrated from Wahab ibn Sulaiman, from Shu'aib, from the names of the first two messengers were Shamun, which means Simon, Simon, Simon Peter, and Yohanna, which means John. And the name of the third was Bolos, because Muslims are uneducated people. They cannot even say the name correctly. It is Bolos, not Bolos. 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 What Bolos? Bolos. Bolos, so Bolos is a messenger of the Messiah, and the three of them they were sent to the city of Antakya. So here we see three messengers. Why the Quran it chooses three to present Jesus? Unless your God, He is a certified donkey like you. Can you explain to us what is the symbolic of a three? If one cannot do it and two cannot do it, why the three can do it? Hmm? We can show, by the way, this reference from tons of Islamic interpretation, not only in the Kathir, but this is the only one I have it in English. So I'm showing it to you. Otherwise, we have tons of them. Let us continue. With the fools, if we go in the Quran, <clears throat> oh, hold on, forget about the Quran yet. When Muhammad he went to the cave, and the angel who his name is Jibril, the pizza guy, he squeezed Muhammad three times and he asked him to read it three times. I challenge the Muslim to tell me what is the mystery behind the three times. If Muhammad could not get it from the first time, why I need to say to him, read again and squeeze him again, second time. If Muhammad could not get it from the second time, why I need to squeeze him like a mayonnaise and release him again 
for the second time and then for the third time and why he stopped with the third time any muslim can answer what is the what is the mystery with number three the angel he is squeezing muhammad three time and saying to him three time read now the muslim they will say to me you are fabricating a story it's not there it's in front of you abdul i know you are illiterate like your prophet who do not know the difference between mary not part of the trinity and the holy spirit is the trinity this is Sahih al-Bukhari, book number one, hadith number three, which means from the beginning of the book, here we go. The Prophet might be squeezed like a mayonnaise three times. I challenge the Muslim to tell me what is behind the secret of a squeeze three times. And how foolish Muhammad was to the point that he, the angel said to him three times, read and still Muhammad, he have no idea what this guy is talking about. And the angel could not explain himself. That's mean both of them are stupid. Because if I am an angel, I am squeezing you to make you understand three times. And then after three times, still you don't get it. It's mean that the angel is a donkey. It's mean Allah, he failed. If Allah, he said to a donkey, you read, the donkey should be able to read because the one is talking is God. When Jesus said to the man who is a blind, see the man he saw. When he said to the man who cannot walk, walk, he walk. When he said to the, to the, the woman, a woman, she touched his address and she was healed. He did not even talk to her. But your God, he said to Muhammad, three times read, and Muhammad cannot read. Because it's mission impossible. Muhammad is so foolish to the point, even your God cannot make him read. But yet the Muslims cannot explain to us why three times. We continue. If we search in the Quran for the number three, if we search the Quran for number three we will find the Quran is loaded with number three everything in Islam is based on number three if you want to fast you have to fast three days chapter 2 verse 196 you can check it yourself if a woman she got divorced she have to stay away from marriage for a three period I mean this is the most silly stupid ever I mean God you do not know that the women after first period she is not pregnant you ask the muslim why she have to wait for three period they say uh, because we want to be sure she is not a pregnant abdul you do not need to wait for three period to know she is not a pregnant why three look like again number three is the number of perfection we continue in the quran God, he said, if you go in here in this verse, قال ربي اجعل لي آية قال آيتك ألا تكلم الناس ثلاثة أيام. He said, God, give me a sign, give me a miracle to prove that you are God, the one is talking to me. He said, you will not speak to people for three days. Any Abdul can explain to us what about seven? I mean, what's wrong with number seven? Muhammad is stuck with number seven 24 hours, seven days a week. 70 versions, 70 year or 70 years orgasm, 70, whatever, 70, everything is seven. Why he here saying three days? When it's come to fasting, you have to fast three days. Why he made this man silence mute for three days? No answer. Let us continue. Hmm. Muhammad is saying. <clears throat> That God, if He want to send angels, He will send the three thousand angels. Chapter three, verse one to four. Why three angels? What's wrong with four four thousand angels? Any Muslim can explain to us. I mean, what's wrong with four thousand? Four thousand is good. Why three thousand? No answer. Continue. Hmm. Let us see. Chapter uh, chapter four. Verse 171 is one of the most stupid verses in the Quran. The same verse, deny the Trinity, is the same verse, confirm the Trinity. Because this verse saying that Jesus the Messiah is a three and one in the same time. He is God in the flesh. And the same verse say, say in a Trinity. This is how foolish the author of the Quran. Read carefully with me, Abdul. I'm not making things up. Your God is certified one. Certified what? You know what I'm talking about. Read with me and love.
sorry, 71, 171. Yeah. All right. This website is not working. When you click on it, it doesn't take you to the verse right away. So you have to scroll. I don't know what happened. All right. Look what the Quran says about Jesus and the Muslim Abdul. They say to us, show us the Trinity. Abdul, it's in the front of you in your Quran. Unless you want to say your Quran is a corrupt book. I like that. By the way, you cannot corrupt the corrupt. This is why I never and I will never accuse the Quran to be corrupted because how you can corrupt something is corrupt anyway. This is the Quran saying, Oh, people of the book, commit no execute in your religion, nor say, but out the, the truth. Christ Jesus is what? He's the son of Mary was between two brackets, no more than a messenger. Forget about it. A messenger. Okay, what he is? He is a messenger. Read with me, Abdul. No, I forgot. Abdul, do not know how to read. The Quran considered the Abdul illiterate. He is a messenger, and he is the word of God. And he is a spirit proceeding from God. That is a three and one. Jesus the Christ is the man, the messenger. Jesus Christ, Christ, as you see in the front of you, Abdul, not my words. He is what? He is the messenger. But in the same time, he is the word of God. In the same time, he is the spirit which is proceeding from God, which means it's always, always connected to God. It is the spirit of God. It is not a spirit created by God. This is why the only one in Islam, his name Ruhullah, which means Spirit of Allah, is the Messiah. How a person can be three and one in the same time? Based on this verse, Muhammad saying that Jesus the Christ, before he became Jesus, he was a word. And then he became Jesus. How he became Jesus? After he sent the word to Mary. So let us organize it again. Allah, he sent his word to Mary. The word became a man. The man has the spirit of God, which is proceeding from God. Three in one. But the most important is, where is the word is coming from? If you ask the Muslim, where is the word of Allah is coming from? They will say from above, from heaven. So Jesus from heaven. Where Jesus was, he was a messenger in the earth. What kind of a spirit is the spirit of Jesus? Is a spirit proceeding from him? From him who? God. And the same verse, it says, say no trinity. <laughs> This is how stupid the author of the Quran. You just confirm the Trinity and you say to us, say no Trinity. Can you explain to me why Jesus is a word and he is a man and he is a spirit in the same time if the Trinity is a lie? What about we add one more thing? Make, make it four. What about we add one more of uh, uh, the two things, five things? Why your God, if he is exist, it shows that Jesus is a presented by three, the word, the spirit, and the man. The foolishness of Islam is beyond imagination. We continue. We are not done yet. If we go in the Quran, <clears throat> forget those sites are stupid. Should I show more? Read this. Read this with and, and, and laugh with me. How many names Allah has? Every Abdul will confirm to you that Allah have 99 names. Okay, wonderful. Brother, wonderful. Why Allah names is presented by the multiply of number three. Allah knows best. Why Allah don't have a hundred name? I mean, even the names of your God is nothing but the number Trinity. Jesus, he did live in this earth, according to Islam too, 33 years. 33 years. 
That's wonderful. Okay. And Jesus, the 33 years of Jesus, counted with the three names of Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. That's wonderful. That will make what? The 99 names of your false God, Allah. Why? Why Jesus in Islam, he live in earth 33 years? What about we make them 29? Hmm? What about we make them, uh, you know, a 100 year? Why Jesus, everything about him is about a three? Why Allah in the Quran, he present himself in three names. Each time the Muslim he pray, he say, in the name of what? Ar Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. You can go from the beginning of the Quran to the end of the Quran, you will find one thing. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah, ar-Rahman, ar-Rahim. And this is all over the Quran. And yet you are saying to me where the Trinity is coming from when you are the person who the Trinity covering you from the top to the bottom. Even your foolish Muhammad, he go and use the three, the number three for everything in his life. And I believe this man, he have a mental illness. Everything he do inside his house, it's about number three. When a Muslim, he want to take an oath, he have to say it three times. Everything you do is based on number three. So explain to us where your eternity is coming from. This is how you refute the liars about what they claim. They are people of a trinity who practice it. We are people of trinity who believe in it. Their life is based, their life, their religion, their act, their worship, their practice, their, their prayer, everything is based on number three. You cannot find one Muslim he can answer that. Later, we will have a live broadcast. My argument is stupid. Okay, let me do this, Malak. Do you accept to challenge me if I finish this season so people, they can download it and I go live on air again to call me and so we can, can we can love together? Do you accept? Malak, do you, do you dare? If I finish now the broadcast and I start a new broadcast, do you dare to call me? Who is the Muslim he dare to call me now? When I say potatoes, I mean it. When I say coward, I mean it. When I challenge this guy, Adnan Rashid and Hijab and Samsi, Samshi, I mean it. You people are coward, you don't dare. And you know you are not fit and you are not qualified the same as your prophet. You better go and put eyeliner in your eyes like you're a prophet and wear your wife a dress like you're a prophet so my, you, tr you might receive inspiration like you're a prophet who he said, I never receive Quran unless I wear the, the skirt of Aisha. I am the Christian prince. And none of you dare to say, I am here to call you. And look how they go mute. Look at them. Look. A second ago, they were like, their text is all over. The second I said, who dare to call me? They played dead. Look, look, this Muslim is sleeping in his side now. He claimed that he have gas. It's like your prophet when he died, they did not bury him for three days. Can you tell me why you did not bury your prophet for three days? I will tell you why. 
because you thought he is the same as the Messiah. And you tell me we don't believe in the Trinity. I challenge any Muslim to tell me what is the point of not burying Muhammad for three days. You Muslim been ordered to bury the man right away before the sun set when he died. Why Muhammad was out of the grave for three days until he stink? And then Ibn Abbas, he said, He became stinky. And who is the one saying Muhammad became stinky? It is his cousin. Who is the one saying Muhammad is stink? It is his companions. Muhammad, he did lie to you. He says, the prophet, the ground never consumed their body. And later we found that his belly became like a woman, Britnet, full of fart, and his, the gas started coming out like a crazy. And his nails became a green and blue. And his skin started collapsing. And the Muslim they noticed the truth that Muhammad was a liar. Let us bury him. Three days, and the poor guy is out of the grave in the heat of Saudi Arabia. I am a Christian prince and I got you busted Muslims please guys don't forget to download the video share it around and today some people they are saying to me take a rest take a break my friend I prefer to die before I take a break as long as I can do what I am doing I will do it don't be a person who discourage me ask me to go and rest don't do that to me We have a duty to do. And if you are tired of watching my videos, please don't watch. But don't tell me don't do what you are doing. It's my life. It's my time. It's my hours. I, I spend it the way I want. I serve my Lord. And I don't care if I live or I die. But I will die with honor of defending the truth. And the truth will set you free. No one will set you free, Muslims. The God who is your God, who is a vagina vendor, he cannot be God. Have you ever heard of a God he provides vagina? Have you ever heard of a God he made the penis endless? Have you ever heard of a God he promised you 70 years orgasm? That is a porn God. That is a porn fiction God. That is a God for the sick ones who they are retarded. And even he promised you 80,000 women, all of them, they have the same face, the same name, the same look, the same eyes, the same height, the same age. How stupid that is, because if you sleep with one of them, you step with all. And 80,000 little boys, who they are so white like pearls, and they will not bleed from serving you. Bleed from serving me? And you are telling me you have a God? You don't. You have a pimp. God is not a sex vendor. Thank you very much for watching. Please download the video and share it around. Thank you.